Can you give me an idea about what some of your math background is? I have not taken a math class in 14 years. So, uh, yeah, college, or not college, uh, high school algebra was my last math class in 2000. Okay, so what did you think about math before you started this? Um, I was always okay at math. I wasn't uh, spectacular at it, but um, it was something I thought I'd do well with. Um, and uh, it's logical, so for me it was a good a good class to take and uh, get back into the swing of things. So what made you decide to take this particular class? I took this specific class in order to try to catch up. Um, basically, I wanted to get back um, into the swing of things, and I hadn't taken a math class in so long that... It was just kind of time for me to to hop right back into it and try to catch up as fast as I could um, in order for me to progress through my major as quickly as I can. Okay, so how do you think this math class is in comparison to some of the traditional math classrooms you had, like in high school? Sure, um, it's definitely different. Um, it's something that you really have to uh, dedicate the time to, um, but I like it a lot because you have lots of choices as to how to learn your material between. Um, coming to class, using a workbook, or watching uh, you know video logs on YouTube. Um, so you have an opportunity to relearn and uh, you know, literally be taught again if you need to uh, work on some concepts or things like that. So I appreciate the uh, availability of different learning through that. Okay, now as more of a non-traditional student, um, you're using a lot of technology. And are you comfortable with that? Is there a bit of a learning curve? or? Um, you know, I did, I did go to college right out of uh, high school as well, just for a few semesters, and they hadn't implemented much um, computer work yet, so um, it's not hard for me because I'm pretty computer literate, so I don't mind it at all, um, but like the D2L program and, and everything is pretty easy. It really is as easy as logging on and, you know, clicking on a link or something like that. It's nothing too, too difficult. Okay, so what do you think about math after taking this class? Um, I think it's one of those things that really sticks in your head because it's been so long since I had, had taken it. That was one of my worries was that I just get overwhelmed by everything. But um, a lot of things I actually remember little pieces and parts of. So it's been really nice to kind of really combine two classes into one, um, even though it's been, like I said, you know, 14 years since my math last math class. Um, it's been nice to kind of be able to catch up that way. Do you feel prepared to take the next step in math? Yeah, I feel very prepared. Um, it's all it's all kind of working again. Uh, everything's clicking and making sense. Um, and I think um, I think I've actually felt better about this math class than I ever have in any of my previous classes that I've taken. Okay, so for your next step, do you see yourself taking a traditional class, or are you can look for something online. Um, I'll, you know, I would take another class like this if it was offered. Um, at the at the next level, I would certainly do that. Um, but I'll I'll keep moving on however I have to. But I definitely would prefer. Um, an, op, uh, an option where you do have a, a classroom as well as an online learning environment. Can you give me an idea about what some of your math background is? Well, about my personal background, I'm from the Dominican Republic, in, which is an island uh, which we, sh we share with Haiti. And, uh, I have four brothers and a sister, uh, my mom and my dad, they both live right now, and we are pretty close to each other, so um, about math background, I took math in high school, and in the beginning I was kind of scared about math, because, I don't know, calculation, and probably, probably because the way the teacher um, talked to the students, which is like, Intimidated sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, also, I was scared of making mistake. At the time, I was supposed to take the test. But now that I am taking uh, math in at the university, it's totally different because I feel like I know what I'm doing. Uh, the teacher use like the teacher is using um, easier methods so I can understand how to solve problems and. Um, I actually feel like a lot comfortable when it comes to uh, resolve problems. So I think it changed a lot from that time to until this time right now. Are you still scared of making mistakes? Uh, no, but sometimes depending like the topic, I I feel a little scared, but not as much as before. How many hours do you spend preparing for this class? Well, to be honest. <laughs> 
per day, I would say five to six hours. So I put a lot of hours in math. That's why I dropped one of my classes because um, I didn't have enough time to to do the things beside math. Since I'm taking two math in one, it requires three math in one actually. Um, it requires a lot of time. Okay, Ashley, tell me about your previous experience in math, your math background. I've taken um, two semesters of math at a technical college, actually in Illinois. And the reason I took this class is because they didn't transfer. I chose this class because it's more accelerated and I needed both um, math 91 and 105. So this class offered both of those because I need to get to 110 um, for my other classes as a prerequisite. So I figured this would be the fastest way to get through these into 110 so I can take my other classes that I need for. So tell me how this class is different than the traditional math courses you've taken in the past. Um, this class is more dedication on your end. Like you have to devote more time, I think, outside of class than you would because there's so much that you have to go over. You have to spend more time like really committing to doing the homework and watching the videos and coming to class with your homework done. <laughs> and um, I really like the online portion though because it, it is faster to learn all these things on your own and then come to class with questions. Um, well with this class in particular, I like to have the textbook open on my laptop while I watch the videos to help me because sometimes the textbook has things that aren't included in the video. Math background, I've never really been good at math, but I mean, I just, I think I've never just learned it uh, the way that I was supposed to be. Before I came into this class, I had taken Math 90 my freshman year, and I failed Math 90. And I was very discouraged to continue um, taking any math courses because I had failed the course. And I didn't even want to enroll in this class, but I did. Um, now that I'm taking the class, I feel a lot better. I feel like I, I can actually work with math. It's just that I, I just need to practice a lot more as well as the professor really understands how the background that many of us are coming from. Outside of the classroom, I'm enrolled in many clubs and organizations as well as I'm a Mexican, so my culture is very family oriented, whereas um, we continue to hold responsibilities with our families even outside of not living at home since I don't live at home. So, like for example, I have to continue helping with my dad's business paperwork besides the fact that I like continue to do schoolwork and I have a job and I'm involved in orgs. And for another example would be I sometimes help my mom with like her GD stuff or her English courses and it's, it's not something that, that it's like, it's not something that we think twice because that's what we're expected to do in our family. And um, it's also kind of hard because, like, for example, my parents, my dad has a third grade education, my mother has um, less than a high school education, so they can't really help us in math. And when we try to explain to them how difficult it is to really, like, balance everything, they just can't understand as well as they can't help us. So the pressure from our parents, or not pressure, but they they become upset because they can't help us so the emotional stress on them also reflects on us because then we don't know what we're working with and they don't know what they're what they can do to help us so that's also kind of uh, rough um, before I started this class every time I made a mistake I felt really bad um, I felt as if I didn't want to continue and it kind of made me not want to ask questions because in class um, other students might look at you funny or might think that you're not as educated or not learn or you don't learn as well as they do or something might be wrong with you or something like that and I feel like with this class and the professor that that's not an issue so she kind of like understood what we were coming from and encourage us to ask more questions if need be 
And I think that that has been something extremely helpful because obviously when we have people that kind of don't understand what we're coming from, we might feel uncomfortable just asking the questions in general. Be encouraging and, I mean, if you have an uppity attitude or if you're just a lot more, I don't know, hyper or whatever it may be, that, that really helps because then the students really see how much you really want to help them. And if the professor really wants to help the students, then obviously it makes us feel like they want us to excel and succeed in the class, which is something that many people don't do because they don't really show the passion they have to teach the course. So I think that that is something absolutely necessary. My math background is very basic and standard. I took the basic math classes that I needed in high school uh, just to pass. and. I went to WCTC right out of uh, high school and I took a math class um, that was required by the program that I was in and uh, that's really about it and then I dropped out of WCTC so um, I was it's been like four years now so a nice four year gap between when I last did math and up until now. Um, at first uh, at first it was very overwhelming um, but when, uh, when I actually took the time to sit down and, uh, make sure that I was on track, uh, step by step, making the progress that I should have with my homework, it was actually, uh, it made sense. It made a lot more sense. It was very helpful. Okay. Um, what, what was your idea of math, um, before you came into this class? Not fun and hard, uh, you know. I, and math has never been a strong suit for me, so I, I had a rather negative uh, outlook on it coming into this class. Okay, so why are you taking this particular class? This particular class I took um, primarily because uh, my math credit from the BCTC did not transfer, and uh, um, they told me that 091 you can take as a class, but you won't get any credit. And me being the logical business entrepreneur that I am, that made no sense in my head. So I figured I, I'm going to take whatever I have to do to get caught back up to speed and get credit. And this is the uh, the only the, the highest math class that I could place in. Not that it's a high math class, but okay. And so, what do you think so far with how this math class is taught, as opposed to your traditional come to class lecture and do your problems at home? Um, seen as uh, all throughout high school and th that one semester in college, you know, being in a classroom setting, reading from a book with a teacher teaching you all the time was uh, definitely, uh, how do I say, engraved in me. It was something that I was just used to and comfortable, not that I had liked it. So the way this class was taught at first, like I said, it was a little overwhelming. It was hard to adjust to a different type of learning. But uh, once, I, once I toughed it out and sat down and watched the videos and did everything that I was supposed to do, it actually, uh, it, it, it is better. It helps, it helps me learn a lot more. Okay, so what do you think of math after taking this class? I think math uh, is actually not as bad as I always thought it was. It's more about, uh, it's, uh, it's more, for me, it's more about making sure I stay disciplined uh, with my homework and being on track with class and not getting overwhelmed, frustrated. Would you recommend someone else doing a flipped class like this? Um, yeah, I would. I mean, yeah, I would. Um, do you think it's more for someone who's been out of school for a few years like you or do you think it'll work just for people who are right out of high school? I think it can work for both. Uh, I think the way that um, the way that uh, school systems are structured a lot of people who've been out of high school or who have a lot of people who've been out of school for a while they end up taking this class for the same reason I did. They don't want to come to class, you know, and pay for a class that's not going to give them, they want to catch up to speed as fast as possible. Um, but I feel it can work for anybody, really. It's more about the self. You have to be able to put in the work. Uh, you have to be disciplined. You have to have the initiative.
My advisor was asking me what math class was I in. First, I really thought that I wasn't going to be able to make it in the course because I came from not really being in tune with math and having did math so long ago, I really, I really wasn't like into it. And so I really enjoyed the class and I told him why. And it's mainly because of the professor that we have and then the way that she structures the class. And it's like we get so much encouragement and we like, it's like we, we can't really do anything wrong because she like encourages us to to do better and to like really push us to actually get the work like it's not just like she tell us oh you don't get it and you know find a way to do it she actually like trains us to get the information so it's like she's she's she teaches us the information and then she trains us and then we have to show her that we get that information so it's not just like you know we're just striving to get by but it's actually we have a helping hand helping us to get by I feel like Really, the professor is the the main reason as to why the course is really different from another math course. Because a lot of times we have professors that's mainly like, okay, you know, I have all this knowledge. I have, I've been studying this for so many years. This is what I'm trying to teach you. Why don't you get it? Whereas we have a professor where she's like, okay, I know this information, but let me teach you this information instead of why don't you get this information? Why didn't you learn this? Um, and it's more like she's actually teaching us instead of handing us some information for us to do ourselves. Um, I feel like mistakes are are really like my mistakes that I'm making. I feel like it's actually what's teaching me because like, you know, the professor really forces us to learn from the mistakes that we made. So mistakes are fine. Like it's okay to make mistakes. Um you actually learn from the mistakes, like you learn how to get the answer and you know where you went wrong. So I like my mistakes that I make, I'm not intimidated by them anymore or I'm not shy to say I don't get it or I'll never say I don't know because I do know, I just don't know how to get it.